dear students in today's class we will be learning about driving forces of e-commerce now we know exactly what e-commerce is and what are the forces that has made the existence of e-commerce see there are many factors there are many forces which push the e-commerce still ahead we know that in the year 1994-95 a small seed of e-commerce was planted and today it has grown into a big tree what i want to say is it has developed it has grown in such a way that everywhere we can see that e-commerce existence and behind this existence and behind this uh, growth there are various forces there are various factors which have pushed it now let's see what are those driving forces so all those driving forces i have put into four categories one is economic forces second one is market forces third one is technology forces and fourth one is societal and environmental forces so these are the broad categories i have made it in each category there are various forces that we'll see in this class so economic forces economic forces means that all which are uh, which can be calculated in the money wise so first one is lower marketing costs marketing on the internet may be cheaper and can reach a wider crowd than the normal marketing medium i hope you all accept this because the costs of marketing are very low in the internet or online marketing it's because you are just presenting the item through the website but and you can reach to a wider crowd to a large crowd but in the normal marketing medium your marketing strategies are restricted and you can reach to a limited crowd therefore this is one of the force that you can reach to a wider crowd and you can lower your marketing costs second one is lower sales costs increase in the customer volume do not need an increase in staff as the sales function is housed in the computer and has virtually unlimited accessibility see here we must know that a large quantity of the products could be sold but you don't require to widen your shop because items are presented only through the website through the computer therefore you need not require to have a big shop in another sense if your customers have increased you don't require a vast vast scale of staff because a same staff who is catering in a particular area can go and sell the products therefore the staff number is less sufficient shop is less sufficient and your product are sold in a larger quantity therefore you will be getting that benefit also then third one lower ordering processing cost see in the online ordering so online ordering can be automated with checks to ensure that orders are correct before accepting thus reducing errors and the cost of correcting them what it says is in the offline or traditional commerce you require a people to take the order then they have to process go through everything but in the online ordering system the computer itself or the website which you have framed that itself checks the order and it is automatic so you don't require a person to 
go through the order or take the order the website itself take the order and it's uh, that itself uh, makes a uh, corrections and produces so ordering and processing cost is not there and because of that e-commerce is uh, taking a prime place then another economic force is new sales opportunities the website is accessible all the time and reaches the global audience which is not possible with the traditional storefront what it says is to reach out to a new market or to sell a new product it is not easy for a traditional store because in the traditional store he can reach out to a uh, nearby people only a restricted geographical area people but in the e-commerce you are reaching out to a global audience and you can reach it all the time and because of that new sales opportunities whether it may be a new product uh, launching or whether you are going to a new area all this is very easy in the e-commerce so these are a few economic forces that which pushes the e-commerce to the forefront next we'll see market forces so various market forces are also responsible for e-commerce taking the prominence in the present world first one is strong competition between organizations see between the organization today companies there is a strong competition therefore if they depend on only on traditional commerce then surely they can't stand with the competition because the another organization is trying to market their products sell their products service their products in uh, whichever way possible therefore the every organization because of the competitions they think a new think in a different way how they can increase their sales how they can sell their product so all those things they plan out therefore the major uh, uh, major help that they can get is through e-commerce therefore every organization today goes for the e-commerce this is one of the force push for the e-commerce second is extremely low labor cost in some countries see we know in the economics we have studied resources are resources are not equally distributed so in some countries there are some resources in abundance surplus and some resources are scarce in the same way some countries are very rich in the human resource and some countries are not and the countries which are highly populated and rich in human resource where the uh, people are more in the work their labor costs are low for example the India itself and in such countries you can produce the product and supply into the uh, another country where they have a high labor cost there they don't produce only you are supplying so you are producing in one country the mainly the uh, products which require the uh, more labor so labor oriented products could be produced in a country where the labor cost is less and because of this online you can sell that product even to the other country so this is another market force third one is frequent and significant changes in the markets uh, uh, this we must know frequent and significant changes in the markets today market styles have changed you know in the earlier small petty shops were there in the existence after that big malls had come so then you know that uh, uh, departmental stores came uh, then uh, niche marketing came then all other forms of uh, categorized marketing came now we know that the main market is e-commerce market website market therefore 
uh, in the marketing styles frequent changes have taken place and uh, people prefer to the changes and today uh, online business have taken a prime place and people have preferred to that and last one is increased power of consumers what it says is in the olden days the king was the seller and today the customer is the king the buyer is the king because the trend has changed in the olden days they used to say if you want you buy it otherwise no today the buyer seller says uh, you have to buy and convinces the customer so this change has uh, come over the years therefore this is also one of the force let's move to the next category that is technology force i am sure that all the e-commerce business is based on the technology and it's because of the technology the it is because of the technology the e-commerce has come into the existence the development of information and communications technology is a key factor in the growth of e-commerce if there wouldn't have been a growth in the ICT I think there wouldn't have been a growth of e-commerce therefore technology and e-commerce goes together hand in hand may so many changes they are thinking in the e-commerce business you might have seen the uh, payment system how they have developed you may know the how they are developing the various website you have seen how the accounting systems uh, applications they have uh, created so various things are possible through the internet but somebody is working behind this some engineers are continuously working therefore technology is more this in turn has made communication is more efficient faster easier and more economical as the need to set up separate networks for telephone services television broadcast cable television and internet access is elim eliminated from the standpoint of firms businesses and consumers having only one information provider means lower communications cost the cost of the communication has made it so lower today so everybody can access to it so you see now internet is available in everybody's hand but uh, if you go back 10 years before it was not it was very difficult only people had to go to the cyber and it was not accessible to everyone but today the things have changed and communication lower communication cost today and because of that everybody is getting access to that next forces we'll see societal and environmental forces various social and environmental forces are also a cause for the growth of e-commerce first one is changing nature of workforce today's workforce are, are different so earlier it was a particular set of time that's a morning eight o'clock or nine o'clock to evening five o'clock six o'clock work then uh, people were not working today people have had various styles of uh, working uh, part-time jobs are there then uh, overtime working uh, they are ready then uh, various shifts morning shift afternoon shift night shift evening shift so people are ready to work in the shifts people are ready to work in the uh, work people are ready to work as a part-timers therefore various uh, styles have changed then attitudes of the workforce also have changed people like to work from home today they don't want to go to the working place if it is possible whichever work was, could be carried out then there is a outsourcing culture so people want to take the uh, project and they work and they will provide you so that kind of uh, nature attitudes have come up with the workforce and because of that uh, this change e-commerce has taken a prime place then government deregulations the regulations were very strict of the government and now some government some liberal liberalization has made from the government and that is also one of the force for e-commerce if earlier we know uh, before the globalization there was I, 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 this e-commerce we cannot think of at all because because of the globalization the country this gates of the various countries are open you can buy the product or sell the product in any country but earlier it was not so so because of uh, government deregulations also e-commerce is pushed up and uh, developed shrinking government subsidies 
so in the olden days what was there is uh, government was giving the subsidies for uh, shopkeepers and all and uh, for pro producing the products but today government have reduced giving the subsidies and because of this government has have reduced giving the subsidies and because of this uh, companies are thinking to companies are thinking thinking to supply it in a cheaper way fourth one increased importance of ethical and legal issues see people are bothered of ethical sense and legal issues are taking a prime place so everything is absorbed today and uh, people are uh, like, thinking of the legality aspects therefore everything should be systematic then increased social responsibility of organizations today csr concept has come up corporate social responsibility so every organization has to contribute something to the csr therefore they try to do the business with the minimum cost and to earn the maximum profit at the same time they want to contribute to the society something that's why they go for the online business then rapid political changes even the political changes makes the growth of e-commerce because political support is also more important and last one one of the social cause i can think a uh, present one is pandemic disease so epidemics pandemics these are also a, a cause for online business and best example today is covid 19 covid so covid 19 is one of the best example in this regard how can i say is see many people were adopted to the e-commerce yes but a few people still were sticking on to the traditional commerce but when the world was hit with the coronavirus disease covid 19 even the people who were buying the products by going to the shop now stopped that and started ordering from the home many people are not coming out of the house today they are sitting in the house and they are doing the business they are uh, buying the products from the house not only regarding the product even we you see the payment systems earlier people used to go to the banks today they don't go the, even those who never knew about the uh, online uh, banking internet banking today people have started with that even education today pe students are not going to the college and uh, education is also uh, knowledge is supplied through the on the websites so these all things are changed because of the pandemic disease therefore these uh, pandemic diseases also uh, one of the causes which force the uh, e-commerce and uh, best is corona virus disease this has forced the uh, um, force the e-commerce to come into the first place and uh, taking the prime place therefore development of e-commerce has come uh, uh, development of the e-commerce has taken place due to the various factors and these are the four forces uh, economic forces market forces then technological forces then social and the environmental forces have made a tremendous change in the e-commerce